Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to create an application uh, which will click a photo using an Android device. So, I have just created a new application. So, click on File, New Project, and fill all the details. And I'm going to select this Hello World text view and I'm going to delete it. So, just hit Delete button. And now, I'm going to need two things here. First is the button, uh, so the user will click on that button and the image will get captured. And the second thing is image view. So first I'm going to insert one button here. And double click on it and I'll write, take a photo. And for the ID I'm going to write B, capture. And I'm going to set on click value here. I'm going to write a launch camera. Now I'm going to need one image view. So just drag one image view here. And right now it is just a dot because here it is layout where it is wrap content and uh, height is also wrap content and there is nothing to show. So for that I'm going to change the minimum width to 300 dp and also minimum height to 300 dp and we need to shift it a little bit so for that just open this layout the, uh, margin and change the top value from 100 to 50 dp yeah it looks fine now now our layout is done now we can move on to activity, main activity the Java file. But before that, I'm going to open this Android manifest.xml file. And because we are going to use the camera, uh, we need to use, uh, we need to write one permission. So write uses feature Android name Android dot hardware dot camera. And here write Android required true and just close it. Now we can move on to the main activator Java file. So open it and I'm going to remove these two methods because we are not going to use them on create options menu and on options item selected. So just remove them and here I'm going to create one int variable which is going to be a constant so write public static final int request capture equals 1 and I'm going to also add a reference to the image view here because I'm going to use it in the uh, some more methods so I'll write image view photo or image view result photo and I need to import it so I'll just hit alt enter and select import class and as you can see here uh, it will get imported the image view will get imported image view class and now inside the on create method I'm going to create a button so write button click equals also I'm going to hit alt enter to import the button class so button click equals button find view by id r dot id dot b capture and result photo which is the image view equals image view find view by id r dot id dot so i have not given any id to the image view you can do that by double click double clicking on the image view and changing this value but i'm going to leave it as it is so i'm going to use this image view id after this 
we need to check if the Android device has a camera or not. So for that, I'm going to make a, a method has camera, uh, and I'm going to use it here. So I'm going to check if has camera. Right now, it is giving an error because I haven't created that method yet. But after this, I'm going to create the method. So don't worry about it. So write not has camera so if it doesn't have a camera I'm going to disable the button so the user won't be able to click on that button so for that right click that is the button name click dot set enabled and here write false so this will disable the button now after the on create method create has camera method which is going to return a boolean value. Boolean values, uh, boolean me means it will return either true or false. So, like public boolean has camera. Here, I'm going to write get package manager dot has system feature and here in the uh, parameters I'm going to write package manager dot feature camera any and I'm going to return this value so return this so what it will do is it will get the package manager check if this system feature is available or not so package manager dot feature camera any so it, if there is a front camera or back camera or any type of camera then it is going to return true or it will return false if there is no camera you can also um, change it accordingly so if you just want a front camera or if you just want a back camera then you can change it so our has camera method is also done so after this, uh, we have created, we have set the on click value for the button uh, equal to launch camera. So I'm going to create that method here. So write public void launch camera. This will take a view variable, view v or view view. And here I'm going to import it. So just hit alt enter. And I'm going to create an in, create one intent. So write intent i equals for importing this. I'm going to hit Alt Enter. Intent i equals new intent. And inside this, I'm going to write media store dot image capture. And after that, I'm going to write start activity. For result and here it takes intent request code and bundle there are two types of start activity for result first one is intent first one takes two parameters intent and request code and the second one takes three parameters I'm going to use the first one so pass the intent and for the request code I'm going to use this one request capture request capture so after this, if you want the information about the image you just took, uh, you can hit Alt Insert and we are going to override one method. So select override methods and here look for on activity result, on activity result, which takes three parameters, request code, uh, result code and data. So hit OK. Now, just remove this one because we don't need it. And it takes request code, result code, and intent data. So now we are going to check if request code equals request capture and result code equals result okay then 
we are going to create bundle extras equals data that is the intent name here dot get extras and I'm going to create one bitmap object bitmap photo and for using this we need to import it so just hit alt enter and select import class bitmap photo equals bitmap extras dot get and here it takes string key which is data so now we need to set it to the image view so just check uh, image views name is result photo so write result photo dot set image bitmap and it will take this one photo so everything is done so this is how you make an application to take a photo using the android devices camera and i have tested it i have taken the apk file on my phone and i have tested it so it is working fine for me so give it a try and let me know in the comments if you have any errors or you can also contact me you can email me at techacademy8 at gmail.com if you have any doubts or errors in your application so if you like this video give it a big thumbs up make sure to subscribe to my channel uh, for more android tutorials bye